how to advocate with your elected officials. To serve the people they represent, elected officials want to hear from you, their constituents, about important issues affecting your lives. By making your voices heard, you show that you are active members of your communities and engaged in the political process. Communicating how you feel about public policy and proposed laws is your right. In this video, advocates, families, and community members use Think, Plan, Do, Think, Plan, Do, and the Companion Workbook can help you make plans to visit, call, or write your representatives. Making an individual visit to your elected official. Meeting with your legislator or representative can be done as an individual or with a small group. Think. Before the visit, Eddie thinks about a proposed employment law he has learned about. Plan. Eddie reviews the workbook to plan his visit. He decides on a brief statement he wants to present during the visit and practices what to say. Do. Eddie calls the legislator's office for an appointment. He knows his meeting is for 20 minutes, so he keeps his statement and personal examples brief and focused. He listens and takes notes on what the staff person says. He leaves his contact information. Eddie thanks the staff member for the visit. Making a group visit to your elected official. Think. Before the visit, the group meets to think about an issue that is most important to them and how they would discuss their position. Plan. The group uses their workbook how to advocate with your elected officials to plan their visit and identify whether they support or oppose a proposed law or bill and the bill number and author. Do. Leslie Ann calls to schedule a brief appointment with the legislator. The group arrives at the meeting professionally dressed, prepared and ready to discuss their issue. Each group member briefly shares how the bill affects their life and why it is important to them. Making a phone call and sending an email. Think. Missy begins by studying the issue important to her. She finds out which legislators represent her. Missy thinks of questions she has and what she needs to learn about. Does she know her issue well enough to comment clearly on it? Plan. Missy decides to call and send an email to her legislator's office about proposed law or bill that is important to her. Missy wants to share her story so her legislator sees how the bill will affect her life. She uses the back page of the workbook to take notes and stay organized. She takes time to prepare and practice what to say, being brief and respectful while explaining the impact on her and others in her community. Do. Missy calls her legislator's office and says who she is and whom she represents. She reads her statement slowly and carefully. She waits to hear comments from the legislator's staff person. 
When finished, Missy thanks the person and gives her contact information. Be prepared to advocate with your elected officials. Learn about the current issues. Participate in workshops, meetings, and trainings. Build relationships. Know your neighbors and community members. Join support groups and organizations with others who share your interests and concerns. Build and maintain a relationship with your elected officials. Get involved and advocate together. Reach out, learn from others, and express your views. Learn about the issues. Let your legislators know that you are informed, ready to take action, and find solutions. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has.